Oh, yes. So we'll go live on TikTok and see if everybody's out there. Yes. And um, how's the weather in how's the weather in in, in Glasgow? Oh, it's absolutely wild tonight, actually, to be honest. We have a terrific wind and rain. Mm hmm I am on 230, the episode of Take the High Road, 230. Oh, wow. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. 230 as Mr. Snedden joined the other Thank estate. You. 1985 I am on now. I'm right, on have you got Mr. Snedden in it? The factor from the oh, other estate? Yes. Yes, big Irish chap. Yes. Right, so he's in it. Excellent stuff. Cool. Yes, and Mr. Blair? Yes. Yes, and Blair Stores? Uh-huh. And Sorry Watson? Yes. Yes, wonderful stuff. And Mr. Murdoch? Yes. Yes. And Dougal? Yes. Yes. Excellent stuff. And has there been uh, has, has there been any uh, talk of weddings? Uh, who for? And Tate High Road or me and Emma? Take the High Road. Not you and Emma. I wasn't asking about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, not, 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 uh, not at the moment, but I need to keep watching and see what happens. See what happens. Keep a wee eye on it. Yes. Yes, and Bob and Alice? Yes. Yes, they're in as well. Fantastic. Oh, it's great stuff, Martin. I love it. Yes. I'm so grateful to Scottish Television for uh, uploading that to the STV player. Yes, that's good. Plus, um, I still like the bills still. I just love the bills. The bills are great. Yeah, the bills very good. Excellent stuff. Now, I'm going to press on, Martin, because we need to make up the time, and it's lovely yes. to hear you. Okay, love you, Scotty. Love you lots, and dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do, my boy. Bye bye now. There we go. That's Martin. Give us a call, folks. Are the calls nice and clear? So there we are. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. How are you this fine evening? Gendela. Lo lovely to have you with us, Gendela. There we go. Who have we got here? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, Glenn? Well, we had a wee bit of problem at the yeah. start with the sound. Yeah, I, I turned my phone up and turned it back on. I thought, wrong I wrong thought what's going on here? I was turning everything up. <laughs> I, I, I played some old videos on YouTube. I thought, uh, you've got to simplify things sometimes. I you've know. got to simplify things. I've uploaded some new stuff on YouTube. Definitely. I'll yeah. have to look at that later. I had a couple so. of calls last night about the diesel engines. Brilliant. Is it Storm Barra? Correct me if I'm wrong on my pronunciation. Is it Storm Barra? Is it? Barra, yeah, Storm Barra. Barra as, in, as in the island of Barra, but I don't think that's oh, yeah. where it got its name. Is it not? No, I don't think that's where it's got its name from, but that's it's the same pronunciation. And we're just going to get very heavy rain, a lot of snow in the north of Scotland. Is this... Uh... Summer's brewing tonight, then, Scotty. Oh, summer's it? brewing tonight. They say it's not going to be as bad as the one last week, but I don't know. I, I hear my doots, as we say in Scotland. You won't be surprised. Hi, Scotty. Sounding good, says 27920. You know, when, Scotty, you know when people say this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised? When, when they say I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, yeah, so they wouldn't, be, they wouldn't they, be surprised. Yeah. Yes. It's like... Oh, but I predict it then. You know well, if saying? somebody said, uh, you know, I think uh, we haven't met Glenn, but I think he's probably a nice chap. He said, oh, yes, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. You see? And baffle, things baffle me and things like well, that. Well, I, I, that baffles me, you see. It baffles me, that. I don't it's quite like understand. Well, what the young people say now is, I'm confused. Yeah. Yes, they're very, and they're not confused at all, but it's the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Stopping. And another, another, more stuff that's breaking in. You say, yeah, I wish, I wish they'd stop it, you know, because he's looking for closure. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah, yeah, that sort of thing? I'm stumped. I, I'm absolutely stumped here. I'm stumped. I could do with that. I could do with a dig out. Yeah. I'm needing a, 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 any chance of a hand here. It's wider than they. It's I'm wider than they. Oh, it's bigger. It's bigger than they. It beggars belief. Well, it absolutely beggars belief. I mean, it's too big for me. Too big. For, it's too big for his boots. 
He's getting a bit big for his boots, isn't he? Pretty brilliant. I think there. he's bitten off more than he can chew, to be honest. <laughs> he's still chewing. Do you know what I mean? Pretty brilliant. Pretty brilliant the land of these he, ta he takes there. on too much. That's why he's not been well. <laughs> he takes on too much. Brilliant, isn't it? The problem is he's a bit. He's too hard on himself. He's long in the tooth. He's getting very long in the tooth, actually. He won bon yesterday, that one. Yeah, definitely. You'll not get one over in him. Brilliant today. And he's got his thousands in there. You're stacked there. You'll not get one over in him, I'll tell you that right now. You'll have to go some. Definitely. You know? Sure. I mean, I think, I don't think you, I'm not saying you can't do it, Glenn, but you'll have to go some. There's, there's no flies on him. You'll have to get your skates on. There's no flies on him. Oh, there's no flies on him. He wouldn't sell you his hen on a wet day. Brilliant. The problem I with him, that he, he wouldn't swap you a thicken for a thin. <laughs> Definitely not. He wouldn't swap you a thick penny for a thin one. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> because what they're saying is it's the same value. It's a yeah, penny, color. same value. But because oh, it's yeah. a bit worn... They're trying to devalue it a bit. Well, he wouldn't swap you, I think, for a thin. Have you come across these 50 pence as well? I've got, like, Olympic things and then Beatrix Potter and stuff. I, like, I like the Beatrix there. Potter ones. Uh, I haven't seen Olympic. Oh, I have seen Olympic. That's what it is, is it? Right. Yeah, I think, yeah, there is one, yeah. Yeah, I've got you now. There's a war one as well in there. Is there one of somebody throwing a discus? I think there is, yeah. Yeah, that sort of thing. He... Brilliant. They are good, aren't they, Trouble with him is he needs to grow up. I have kept a few one in those, Scotty. What about that one, Glenn? He's not the air. He needs he's to grow up. He needs to grow up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he will do okay, but he'll need to pull up his socks. He's not the sharpest tool in the box. He's not as smart as he thinks he is. Yeah, definitely. I'm not right. convinced his lift goes all the way to top story. Fantastic. You know, he's all right, but you have to keep an eye on him. What's wrong with two? <laughs> Keep an eye on him. He's got the eyes. You need eyes in the back of your head. Oh, you, you need eyes in the back of your head with that one. Probably in there. Do you know what I mean? Someone will be coming under this time thinking, what are these two going under that? Yeah, he's, he's, he's okay, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't lend him any money. No, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> You'll not get it back. He's not daft, you know. He's not as daft as he looks, which is a good job. Why is it come day, go day? That one as well. Come day, go day. Yeah. He don't know whether he's coming or going, that one. I wouldn't trust him to sit right way round, don't laugh. They're the best ones. <laughs> Brilliant. Are you looking forward to your Saturday show then, Scotty? He doesn't know if he's in uh, Bombay or Whitley Bay. He doesn't know if it's bye bye or whip bye. He <laughs> don't know if it's New Year or New York. <laughs> Wife's as daft as I'm saying. He's as daft as a brush. Oh, daft as a brush with a wed. Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't be out in his own, you know, to be honest. You know, I mean, I'm asking him all these questions. He never get any of them right. And, I mean, he's walking the streets. Asking for directions. <laughs> it's great Fantastic. stuff. It's brilliant, Scott, you know. <laughs> It's good to have a good old laugh, Scott, to be fair, isn't it? He doesn't know if he's having a breakdown or a haircut. He doesn't know whether he's Arthur or Martha, says so Shane. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever received, Scotty? Uh, never trust an electrician with no eyebrows. I wonder why. <laughs> Hi from Essex, says Ollie. Thank you, do, Ollie. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Uh, and that's got a nice and I have two for a two. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. A tooth. I'm in Deniston, Glasgow. The wind's ripping right through me. I'll tell you this, though. He's got an art of gold. Definitely. <laughs>
He'd give you his, he'd give you his last draw, though. Yeah, I was just going to say that one. Were you? I was thinking about it, yeah. Fantastic. I love all that. Scotty's telling porky pies. You know? What about, um, he says he's going to fight us. Him? He couldn't fight sleep. <laughs> He couldn't fight skin off a rice pudding. He couldn't, he couldn't fight his way out a wet paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's brilliant, isn't it? That's great stuff, isn't it? All that nonsense. No, but you get that. What about, uh, what about phrases like, do you know this one, Glenn? I think What's he's, I, I don't think it were him. I think he's carrying can. Yeah, definitely. You know, do you know what carrying can was? Is he taking responsibility then? Or? Yeah, days of the miners, you know, yeah. Yorkshire, they had to take the dynamite down the mine. And it was a bit <sighs> unstable in them days, you know, you had to watch temperatures and things. There were a few. So they put the dynamite in a can and somebody carried the can. Let's hope it went, it's got that. Let cat out bag. But yeah, let cat out of bag, yeah. Now, now, do you know what the cat is? Oh, it's actually the cat of nine tails, which was oh, ropes yeah. with knots on them. They used to beat people at sea. So they used to flog oh, yeah. se seamen that didn't behave. Oh, yeah. And they used to go up and deck and they would see that the cat of nine tails had been taken out of its canvas bag. And they would go, ooh, cat's heart bag. So now at the perception of that, it's just somebody just let a secret out. Really. Let a secret it's out, out cat's out bag. We could tell. I mean, I knew what was happening. Cat was out bag. Yeah, as soon as it's come out. I thought someone's for it. Hope can't it's not me. Can't, can't keep his trap shut for two minutes. <laughs> yeah, he, he can't keep his trap shut, though. Couldn't hold his water. Yeah. Do you think Do you think he'll keep that secret? Do you think he'll tell anybody that him couldn't hold his water? I won't be surprised. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. He bag on. Yeah. You're telling me. <laughs> Oh, you're telling me, I'm telling you. It's brilliant, isn't it? I'm telling you, you're telling me, but I'm telling you, right? Nice one, Scott. <laughs> the trouble with you is you think you know it all. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you talk too much, okay? Might get lots of... Let other people get words in. Can't get a word in edgeways. What about that? Can't get a word in sideways with him. You can't. I mean, he wouldn't let us talk. And I was trying to tell him, like, but he's not listening, is he? <laughs> what do you do with people like that? What's world yeah, coming yeah. to? What's world coming to? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Fantastic, Honestly, the yeah. young people today, a guy says to me, the young people today, and he starts laying off. I said, I don't think you know any young people. So the young people today are brilliant. Yeah, let him off like a rocket. Yeah, he went off like a rocket. He did his nut. He did his nut then. Yeah. You doing my head? You doing my head then? Yeah, he went absolutely off his nut. He went bonk. Yeah. Start raving bonkers. Yeah, I was trying to tell him something, but I think he went off his face. <laughs> I was watching him going home on Saturday night about 11 o'clock taking all road to him sin. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was taking all, all road to him sin. It's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? It Glenn, is, yeah. I'm going to dash off. Take great don't care of your dear self. Don't say we're going mad. We already have. <laughs> we have. Hey, we're already there. If you can't go mad, another laugh. Listen. The whole world's gone queer except thee and me, and I'm not so sure no, about no. thee. Scotty, nobody's normal, are they? No, well I, well, I don't know. You see, what is normal? Yeah, definitely. It's a yeah. bit like nice people say, what's he like? You say, well, he's all right. He's quite nice, actually. You wouldn't add him in either. Yeah, you wouldn't add him in either, would you? Yeah. Well, get up the apples and get get, get shifted. The old Cockney Rhymes thing and all Yeah, that. Oh, they try a bit of that. We've got it in Glasgow. Your china is your china meats, your plates. Oh, yeah. No, your plates are your plates of meat, your feet. Get Pope your plates that. off that chair. Yeah, Popeye's eyes. You know, put on your koala. 
What's that, Sky? That's your Kuala Lumpur, your jumper. Oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Kuala Lumpur. Nice one, Sky. I'm off to my Margaret. Margaret Thatcher, scratcher. Oh, you're Mar you Margaret Thatcher, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're a scratcher. I mean, that goes back to the days when people had fleas and beds. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm off to my scratcher. Brilliant. They used to hot to bed. They used to, one would get up and do night shift and the other would come home and sleep in bed. Are you extending show tonight, Scotty? Uh, yeah, well, I'll have to, won't I? I mean, it's, it's only fair. Have to, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the out. amount of money I'm not being paid, I think <laughs> the, the least I can do is extend show for the... <laughs> All right, Scotty. Love you lots. I'm only teasing. Right, I, I, uh, I would never I'm ask for a penny, love. You take nice care. One. Dinky do, Scott. Dinky do, Lala. Top man, that's our Glenn. How fantastic. What a night it's been tonight. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hi, Scotty, it's Kareem. How oh, you? Kareem, how lovely to hear you. What a night tonight. Yes, yes. We just could not get started. The TikTok was acting up. Well, it wasn't the TikTok. I mean, the devices were acting up. We couldn't get any sound going. I popped up about three times. There's probably still a live going on somewhere. Yeah. I didn't get any notifications. I, the very first time you came up, I got a notification, but anything after that, nothing came up. Well, we popped up. I tried to do it just on the YouTube, Karim, but it meant no number displayed, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. So at least, yeah. anyway, everything's working fine now, I think. We're here, yes. That's, we that's, we that's, are that's, here. That's, Yes, so how are we, Scotty? There we are. And there's the lovely D. Gurley, Davy G. We're absolutely fabulous, Kareem. The weather's a bit wild, right enough, you know. But um, oh, yes. a great show last night. Yes. And I've I uploaded uh, a couple of things about the diesel engines. I did listen, um, but I was, uh, I was just said, I would phone. No, you were exhausted and you'd had a day of it. Yes, um, no, I was uh, a funeral as well. It was my, my auntie Kathy. Ah. Uh, sadly passed on. So, And I think uh, you're quite that... a close family, Kareem, aren't you? Uh, well, yes. My, I, I don't have a very big family over here, so that was my grand sister. Um, and it was a shame because I hadn't really seen her until before lockdown. Um, and obviously you, you can't see because of the, the COVID, you know, it has to be very close family, her close family, like her, her kids and their grandkids, so... Um, but, Kareem, you know, my auntie died time. in her 90s, a year past in October, and I was uh -huh. speaking to her son, who's a dear friend of mine, and uh, I said, when did you last see her? He says, I haven't seen her since March. Wow. Do you yeah. see what I mean? So his own mum yeah. had died in the October. His sister was... She was the appointed person, if you like, that yes. could go and kind of wave in the window and all that. Uh -huh. But it wasn't uh -huh. enough. Oh, goodness. It's, Your it's own mother, shame. when did you see her? I haven't seen her since March. Oh, that's horrible. Gee. That's horrible. But, uh, but we need to upwards and onwards. Upwards and to... onwards, Kareem. Bless you. And bless Auntie. And I always feel when somebody goes, we were yeah. so fortunate to have known them. Scotty, when I was driving back, it was in East Bride, and she was there, and I said I wasn't going to cry, and when they started talking about having my grand, that was it, it just, oh, Too much. tears start. Yeah, and it was, and I thought to myself, my grand and her sister, at the end, fought so hard, and I mean, you wouldn't believe how strong, you talk about independent women and divas, they fought their illnesses and gave it a good kicking right to the end. Yeah. Good Absolutely. for them. And that's inspirational to think. You know, some people think, I've, I've had enough, done, I'm dusted, I'm away, but they, no, nope, I'm going to fight and I'm fighting and fighting and they did, you know, um, and both of them lasted an extra two years wow. when, you, when, when you think back after being diagnosed with something or something yeah. going wrong. So they truly, truly did fight. It's interesting how people just get on with it. The, the fight yeah. for life is very powerful. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, uh, as I said, that's not the, the main purpose of tonight's call. No. It's upwards and onwards and to be positive. And it's a celebration. And I think that's the most key important thing to remember is to celebrate and not to forget. 
I think that's what it's about, a celebration of life, you know. I mean, I think how lucky I was to have my father and my mother, do you know what I mean? And although yes. they died fairly young, as I say, although yes. they died fairly young, as I say, Dad was 70, 73, just short of 74, and my mother was 75. And and I think we were very lucky to have them, though. Yes. You know? Yes. And to know them so well, the same with my grandfather. I had 14 years of my grandfather, the one that was born in 1881. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I thought that myself. I had my granny and granda for, until my, my early mid-30s. Yes. You know, so it's been... You know, not many people could say that. No. So that's uh, my younger days. Uh, and as I approach now into my middle life, shall we say, you know, um, I'm, you know, I can look back and think that I've, I've had that and the upbringing. And I'll tell you what I think, Kareem. I think we as a society need to learn so much from this pandemic. Yes. We're getting ordered about from morning till night. And I think we need to learn so much from it. And I think we should see if there's a way we can keep our old folks beside us rather than have them in homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because although a, home, although a lot of homes do wonderful work, there's also an element of a racket going on there. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? No names, no pack drill, but I mean, all these thousands of pounds going out per week to look after somebody's parents. You know, oh, it's a grand a week to keep mum in the home. I think that's the... Not, as you said, not to go into it, but that's the political side, whether it's yes. public or private. Yeah, know, the, so. the, 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 the politicians, you see, things like that, I believe, and this sounds a bit socialist coming from me, but, uh -huh. um, you know, things like that that we all actually need, I don't think should be money makers. Uh -huh. You yes. see? So yes. the gas, the electricity, transport, the railways... The the the, the um, broadcasting organisation, the the state one, all that sort of stuff should not be in it to make money from the people. The NHS, the NHS nowadays is becoming a business. Uh, yes, absolutely. You know, yeah. I mean, how much money will be being made by the big pharma companies out of everybody getting dosed with this, that, and the next thing? Oh, so many people, I've had too many debates about that, Scotty, um, about, I think I've said before, there was somewhere in, in America, uh, no, it was in England, sorry, that when something, make it you went and broke your leg and then you got fixed. This hospital gave you a bill, what you would have paid. No, obviously you get it for free, because it's the NHS, but it breaks down everything. And I think everywhere should be doing that, to let yeah. people see, well, this is what you would be paying. Uh, like what they would have in America, uh, because I think a lot of people actually, you know, they don't respect. I mean, like the many people that go to the doctors just to get a prescription for paracetamol. Yes, you know, it's like eight pounds a box from the doctors to get it prescribed, and twenty five pence in the news agent. Exactly, you know, and it's things like that that would save money that would go a long way. Yeah. Um, I think my plumber told me I think he lived in a very mixed area. But he says a lot of the people on the street, oh, we'll just get happy pills off the doctors. We don't really need them, but we'll just have them anyway. You know, that that's a cost. That's money. Absolutely. You know, that's and I mean, I think we should only be going if we are not well. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. I, you I, know, if I, somebody I, says, I no, 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 he's, he's really, he's very unwell, I think we should get the doctor. Yeah. I, I touch with Scotty, I, I rarely go to the doctor's. I wonder how much the doctors are looking after people who are heavy drinkers, heavy uh -huh. smokers, drug yeah. users. Do you know what I mean? And I wonder how many ordinary, healthy, fit people who aren't doing big on booze, aren't big on fags, aren't big on drugs, I wonder how many of them ever need a doctor. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I know people that have died and somebody says, I... He just looked so well. I don't think he's ever been ill a day in his life. Yeah, yeah. And I remember a doctor telling me um, that he'd signed uh, this guy very fit. I don't know whether the guy worked in the oil rigs or something like that, but he had to get yes. a medical. The doctor checked him out and everything was 100% everything. 
So he signed his certificate. He said, good luck. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. The guy went out and dropped dead in the car park. And I told a GP friend of mine this went, yeah, I've, I've had that, yeah. You know, so it's it's just there's no kind of accounting uh -huh. for it. Yeah. yeah. And you get other people yeah. who are quite heavy drinkers and smokers and stuff, and you say, Oh, Jimmy died, he was still having a smoke, you know. What age was it? Ninety yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. That was my granddaughter. You know, it's it's just amazing. No, 86, and they had a, they had a packet a day. He was just such a big smoker. I think it would have killed him quicker if he stopped. Well, this is the <laughs> problem sometimes, the shock of actually stopping. I also see people, yeah. uh, you know, my age sometimes at gyms. Uh, and when I say gyms, it's a, I'm going to do something else, and it's a leisure centre, and you just happen to see them in the window, running on yeah. treadmills like crazy. And I think yeah. this cannot be good for a... 68 year old or whatever you know what i mean yeah 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 no, it's all very well to you know exercise to breathless you know mm -hmm. I, think I mean the I doctor think said to me he says more fruit and exercise to breathless so i'm up and down the stairs a couple of times and a chocolate orange <laughs> oh i love it but scotty i've got a wee interesting topic yes um, um which i have been quite interested in um there's we know of the town Linlithgow. Yes, very much so. And it has a lot of history about it. Linlithgow Palace, Mary Queen of Scots. There's talk about changing the name The Black Bitch. The Black Bitch it's, Pub. It's racist. Yes. Now, The Black Bitch yeah. is a, it's an ancient legend as far as I know. Yes. And The Black Bitch was a dog... Yes, that yes. came and um, re did it rescue somebody? Its its owner, there was various stories to this, but the main one that came up was the owner, I think, was done something wrong and it was stealing, so they put him in the island in the, the centre of the... They the put lock. him in the island in prison and the dog yes. came off, swam across the loch and got yes. food and went back with food and drink for his master. For her master. Yes. Yes, the um, black bitch. I don't know. There's, there's different stories how the dog passed away. I think they, they left the dog with the owner or they drowned the dog. We'll, we'll never know. <laughs> anyway, we'll they've got know. this wonderful pub with this legend. And, I, I mean, I don't think, unless, I don't know what the owners are wanting to do, but I don't think that should ever be changed. And I also don't think it's the business of any council. Correct. Correct. I think Alex Salmon, that's, I think he was either born there or that's his hometown or something. He right. actually, he stepped in and thinks it's absolute nonsense. You can't change history. No, uh, you can't, you can't go around doing this. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just not right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, 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 I just think that, that people need to seriously, seriously think about it. I heard a very interesting one the other day about slavery. And yes. obviously, um, everybody's accused of exploiting the African slaves, which they did. Mm -hmm. But the one, I don't know if I, I told you this one before, the word slave comes from Slavs, like right. as in Yugoslavia. Right. So the original yeah. slaves were white people. And slavery is going on to this day. Uh, okay. I mean, so if you go yes. to Africa now... Little ones are being exploited to work in factories. Yes. Well, you have that in other countries around the world, uh, the world India, China. India, China, yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. And I remember putting a question to some young people when I was doing a lecture. And I said, yes. if a factory were to open across the road here, I yeah. said, would you be willing to go after your school, say, 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, do two hours work at £10 an hour? And every hand went up, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You see? And uh, the little boys that do the carpets in Turkey, uh -huh. uh, you know, stitching them and that, they take such a pride in the work. They're heartbroken when the social services rescue them, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. Because they love their work. 
Now, I have a thought. I told you that I was doing a, a fun job at 12. Yes. Because you could do that then. And it was brilliant. And also, I learned and learned and learned, Kareem, but I learned manners. I learned, well, I was brought up with manners, but I mean, I learned how to talk to people as a wee one. To have conversations with people, to do what I was told immediately because things depended on it. As soon as I touch that ladder, you get up there with that rope. You didn't go, why me? Why? I might not feel like it. I don't fancy it. I'm no interested. There was none of you just did not speak back to your seniors. Mind you, in those days, you'd probably have got a clout. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. I know, Scotty. But uh, you're right about that. I, but I, there was a petition uh, which I signed against the name change because I just think it's getting... No, we need to put a stop to this. You see, I think that councillors need to be held to account for everything. Yes. So say a councillor says, right, we're not having a Christmas tree this year in case it upsets our Muslim brothers and sisters. You say, okay, can you bring the head of the local Muslim council and can we ask if he will be offended if we put a Christmas tree in the square? Mm -hmm. In other words, we're not taking your idea mm -hmm. of what offends and what doesn't. Yep. And I would almost guarantee if you brought the head of the Muslim council and said, would you mind awfully if we put our Christmas tree up for the Christians? Absolutely not. Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much for asking. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see? Yeah. Yeah. I could and They would appreciate that. They probably enjoy seeing Christmas trees up and people coming together. Yes, of course. Because that's the end of what religion should be about. Regardless of this different religion, Scotty, it's about people coming together and bettering themselves. Of course. I think that's, Absolutely. Uh, you know. Absolutely, and it is so important. And I mean, remember, the birth of Christ would be uh, to the Jewish people. Correct, yes. You see, and I think yes. people forget this. Do you know, I was thinking about that yes, when, you're in the, when I was in the, the church yesterday, um, and I was looking at, it was a statue of Mary, and I just thought, it just, this statue looks like some someone out of... United States. Yeah. I thought it would not look like a, a Middle Eastern lady from those times where no. there would be really dark hair, yeah. be dark skin, yes. you know, the, the, the fingers would be really rough with all the work, you know, no suntan lotion be, and working in that seat. I just, I just thought it's like, you know, it's like the Western perception of what they would look like, but in reality, it's nothing what they would actually look like. Absolutely. And I think this is what's so important. You know, what was the story I heard the other day about Hollywood? And it was, um, oh, uh, Charlton Heston, I think, was he the one that played Moses? Right, sir. And they were parting the Red Sea. And he, he, he was telling somebody, he says, uh, I've got to get up at five o'clock in the morning and get all this makeup on. The beard and the sandals and the... The eyebrows and the, you know, the whole lot. Yes. And yes. Bob Hope, the comedian, passed and said, I've always said it's really tough being Jewish. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Now, Bob Hope was just a genius. Yeah. yeah. He was the one that used to go to entertain the troops in Vietnam and he would say, hey, all these tanks up there, are they ours? <laughs> <laughs> and he would say, what a lovely place you've got here. And he would turn to his drive and go, keep the motor running. <laughs> he was just, I mean, these guys were yeah. being very, very clever comedians. Yeah. You don't get that nowadays, Scotty. No, because again, you know, it borders on the old, uh, watch what you're saying now. And you think, yeah. why should I watch what I'm saying? And you say, because that could be construed as that. And you say, well, wait a minute. How could it be? You know? It's, it's, it's that something. Sort of so it's very, very strange. Yeah, it's... it's I, think, I think it's fashion, Scotty, because when you look back at things, it, 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 
times change. I mean, you've got people apologising for things that they said about 20 years ago. And but you see, I think that's wrong. Yeah, I, I agree too. You see, I got yeah. asked I got asked the other day, you'll hear it on the uh, on the podcast. Yes. You know, do you, do, you, do you regret anything you've said? I said, no, certainly not. No. Because it was absolutely right of its time. Yeah. And do you regret that's the way you spoke yeah. to me? No, that was what was funny. And they spoke to me like that. How many people got the chance to shout at a radio host? Not many. Do you know what Not I mean? Many. How many yeah. stations can you phone the host and have a real good going argument? Yeah. And then Take end the up as pals? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I used to people ringing me telling me, you want to shut your face. I said, were you brought up to speak to people on the radio like that? Okay. Oh, and you see, question. the thing is, Karim, if you don't yes. like it, why are you listening? Because they do like it, Scotty. They and love it. it. Is. It's yes. like us on here. I can now say, because of the internet phoning, I can say to somebody, why don't you just push off? Because there's a whole world out there. Yes. But yes. there's something attracts them to what you and I are talking about right now. I also think that two human beings having a blether is actually interesting. Yes. yes. How I mean, often yeah, have you been waiting on us. somebody, maybe your wife to bring you over a drink or something like that, and you've you she sat down and you said, you want to hear this couple beside us here? Oh, well, like that's yesterday, Scott, I had you on the background, you know, and just porting about and listening and I think that's it's relaxing. You get a good giggle when you get some some numpty callers are coming on, or when someone comes on it's serious, and you can sit down and think and think, yeah, I agree with that. No, actually, I don't agree with that. You know, just things like that. Here's you know? chap fifty five, so woolly now, scared to say he for she. Yeah. You know, and uh, I can mind you used to tell women who passed their test you were sending your license back to Swansea. <laughs> they used to come on the radio and say, Scotty, you passed me driving test today. I'd say, right, lovey, I'm sending my licence back to Swansea. I'm not taking the risk. <laughs> oh, but, but that was the time, Scotty, and, you know, and that's, it's, it's what got people talking and they like listening and they want, you know, it, it worked, you know, and it still works to this I day, think it's know. still working, Karim. I mean, I think we will probably do... Not news stories, but stuff that people do want to discuss. Uh-huh. And perhaps uh-huh. some of that stim should come from me because we're finding our feet now. Mm-hmm. But I I am very, very pleased with the way that this phone-in's gone over the last few weeks. It's, it's bringing people together. It's growing. We get people from all around the world listening. And, you know, and you imagine someone just sitting out in the middle of nowhere and going through... And then I just listen to you and all these people coming together. You know, well, it's, it's this is perfect. it, and I'm sure that when people get a proper sniff of it, I mean, yeah. the YouTube channel, I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm interested in looking at ways how we can get that to people's attention. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, because yeah. the other thing is, of course, you've got to remember that what I'm doing now is coming up 30 years old. Mm-hmm. And I noticed the chap on the podcast saying even the idea nowadays that people are going to call and chat. And I've always found calling and chatting is miles ahead of texting and typing. Yeah, I, I think the texting and typing is obviously, it's, I wouldn't say the younger generations, I know a lot of older people do it as well, but I think the two go hand in hand. I think it's good to, to read out some comments but also you get the real meat around the bone, if you know what I mean, when you're having a one-to-one conversation. When you're having a one-to-one conversation. I mean, say I texted you on some network and I said, um, hi, Kareem, how are you placed Friday night? Uh-huh. And then it comes up, Kareem is typing. Yeah. And then after about maybe two or three minutes, a long piece about uh, what was it you were thinking of? I'm actually quite tied up this Friday night. So I yeah. tap back, well, listen, please don't worry about it. Um, I was right. wanting somebody to do such and such, but I could probably at a push get somebody else. The only thing is that you know what you're doing. 
Uh, and then Scotty is typing. You see, and that takes us hours. It would take seconds to, you know, hello, Kareem. Hi, Kareem, it's me. Um, listen, can you talk just now? I can, yeah. What was it? I haven't got long. Don't worry. Um, Friday night. Are you busy Friday night? Uh, yes, I am. What were you wanting? Right. I was needing to talk to somebody that understands social. Right. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I could do. Is it your is it your youth group or whatever? I could pop over from say half seven to maybe half eight. Kareem, that would be that would be magic. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. I'll see you then. Where, where is it again? It's at the hall. Okay, see you then. Bye. That's that. And yeah. that's it sorted. There's no Scotty is typing, Kareem is typing. I wasn't sure yeah. what you meant. You seemed angry. All that kind of rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. They're over the Absolutely. Yeah. You know, a quick, quick blather and, and it's amazing. Yeah, away they go. Oh, no, I totally agree, Scotty, but I think the, the talking, there's, you're always going to have the talking, um, but I think it's something, it's not going to die out, but I think it's harder for the younger generation because, you know, think about kids. Let's shut them up. Here's an iPad, here's a, a tablet, whatever, won't play with that. Go on your go on your go on your game boy, go on your go on your yeah. Xbox, go on. You know. And when they get to the teenage years, they're still doing the same. And when they get into their twenties, that you know, it's the, the PlayStation or whatever. And we so, know that young people are struggling a little bit with the phone in because uh -huh. they can't really hold a conversation. Well, there's been a couple younger folk that have phoned that you can hear that, that's quite evident, but it's just building that confidence, you know, starting small. Um, it's one of the boys' phones, I, I, I can't remember his name, is it Ewan? Oh, yes, um, from Barra. I can't, I think that he does sound a little bit shy, and I'm not, it's not a criticism, if, you're, if he's listening, it's far from a criticism, please don't feel offended. No, no, I think, you know, I think he's just a young guy, and I think it can be a little bit overwhelming, to be yeah, live on an yeah. internet phone-in. Well, there is only... Yeah. I don't know that there are any other internet phone-ins. I know Alex Belfield does his phone-in, um, yes. and uh, and that's him kind of, I think, just keeping a tradition going because, yeah. uh, you know, his videos are are uh, where the people are so interested. Yes. yes. And it's interesting that he came immediately to my defence when that half wit was on uh, yeah. the other night, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about yeah. that? Um, I've watched you've got your videos. Uh, you saw on that one, yeah, yeah. It was the guy yeah. that he, he said he said Scotty McClure was a great influence oh. on him, and the guy goes, "Oh, don't mention that clown." Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't bother, but Scotty, you've, you're always going to have the haters in life, and you've just got to laugh at. I wonder if haters actually hate themselves, and that's their problem. I always say it's insecurity if they've got. They have to put it on the other people, you know, like make them feel bad so they can feel good about themselves. Yes, I think that's right. I think people do you down. Have you never been at something, you meet somebody and you come in and people go, oh, here's Kareem, and you go, here, what was up with you? Could you not put your tie on or something? Mm -hmm. You think, I beg your pardon? Because they don't feel confident enough to shake your hand and go, Kareem, thank you for coming. It's so lovely to see you. So they say, could you not put your tie on? Because it it takes the attention away from them. Uh -huh. Yeah, centre of attention. It's like a bully as well. When you think of bullies, they need that type of attention. Uh -huh. and, you know, it's... it's uh... oh, come on. Listen, Scotty, I had another question, but I'm going to keep that for tomorrow. Keep that um, up your sleeve. But yeah, well, it's a long one, but it was just about double standards with Down South with the Parliament there to up here uh -huh. uh, regarding, like, the Christmas parties. But I'll go into that tomorrow a little bit, just about... The I'm getting ones. a little bit concerned that we're getting so obsessed with mm -hmm. all the pandemic that we're missing, we're forgetting about independence and Scotland yeah. and the people and... Do you know what I mean? I, I think, before I go, I think what's going to happen, uh, and I hope it does go this way, I think the Christmas period is going to finish. Uh -huh. I think there'll be some. I don't think we'll. I don't think we'll go back into a lockdown. Uh, I think there'll be some restrictions. Some might be a bit heavy, but I don't think we'll go back to the lockdowns that we've had because the economy will can't survive. Um, but the build up to May council elections, and I think after that, 
you'll have another full year until they call the independence referendum. But you need to remember, Scott, as you know, uh, the probably going to have to go to court regarding this because down south will not allow it. I think Nicola's been very clever because when it was COP26, she has met so many world leaders that as a sovereign country to deny a referendum would be quite bad in the world stage. However, how many people has this current UK government annoyed uh, and turned their back? Uh, oh, stacks, stacks. I mean, it's, it's interesting because we call it the UK government. But yes. I do know that the English administration, because of its uh, imperial background, yes. uh, has breathtaking arrogance about their superiority. Yes. Yes. And I think yes. that was a bit of a shock last week when this diplomatic row with France, when yes. Boris tweeted his letter rather than leave it to the diplomats. You know, and I think it was a shock when people said, listen, you don't call all the shots now. And that's a bit that's a bit of a shock. And and we know as a fact that if Scotland were to leave the United Kingdom, then yeah. Westminster would struggle to meet its balance of payments because Scotland is a serious cash cow. But if somebody was my cash cow, I would be treating them with kid gloves. I think that's a problem, though, Scott. I would be saying, my dear Nicola, that. how are you? You must come yeah. and have lunch with me. Yeah, but the, a lot of them don't see that, Scotty, because I think they've been brainwashed as well, a lot of them, that it's England that subsidises Scotland. Well, they need, to, they need to come clean about all that. Oh, I Nicola, know. I come know. on, you don't want to be leaving us. Let's see if we can do you a really nice deal. Yeah. We want to yeah. say thank you for all the dosh. Well, Scotty, I would be saying this. Why would we want to stay now part of a, a Tory United Kingdom? We can see how that everything's getting changed yes. now. Uh, and people are joking, but are, are they really joking that it's like a dictatorship coming into in time? Well, I think the, the other thing is that we are paying for everything there. Now, you see, there's Kean. Can you back up your statements with sources? Of course. Yes. Of course I yes. can. I mean, these are facts. These are not statements. These are statements of fact. Well, 70 billion, we give down and we get about half that back. You know, there we go. That, ab absolutely. Even less. Even less. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely that's talking that's to you, Kareem. Thank you so much. Scotty, speak to you tomorrow. Thank I look you. forward Bye to it. I'm looking forward to it already. Sorry? I'm looking forward to it already. Oh. Thank you. I'm going to take the dogs out now, so I'll see you. They will love to do that. Top man. There we are. Great guy, Kareem. So there we are. Looking into the evidence is paramount, of course. Plenty of sources. There we are. Scotland has more than enough money to go independent. Who's in charge of the money? Absolutely. Poorest leadership I've ever seen across all nations. Absolutely, chap. Yes, indeed. Could you please recite the national anthem? Yes, of course we can. Uh, so who's off the mark? Absolutely. We're not independent. Not yet. But we could be. Hello, Scotty. Big fan. Big, big fan to you as well. There we go. Maria Knight has sent me 10 GGs. Maria, thank you so much. You are very, very kind. We could talk about politics all week long, Scotty. You, sir. We could talk about politics forever. But we don't want the show to become all politics. Too many people doing that. This is about people. Can you please compose a tune in the squeeze box on the spot? Gideon, of course I can. Have you gone to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and put in Scotty McClue the Mermaid? That's one of my compositions. And I play it on the squeeze box. How do you get a computer drunk? Screenshots. Thank you, Dee. Not all of Scotland should be locked down. I need my caravan holidays. Yes, you need to replace your skylights. Uh, night, Susan, trying to get through, but no luck, Dee. You'll have luck. Get through now, Dee. Come on. The guy on Alex's show. Yes. Glasgow should be locked down permanently, says Professor Nupteed. He's only saying that because he's from Edinburgh. There we are. 
He was jealous of you, Scotty. He didn't have a show. He was just a bit shy talking to a big star. My sister's 75. You're live at Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Dee. Dee, you angel. I'm so glad we got you on. I don't try to forever, but... I don't I'm... feel right, if I, and I don't want anybody going away dissatisfied. <laughs> I know, I know. I, just I want don't to want you thinking, open. listen, I supported that old fool when he had nobody <laughs> phoning him. And then now, because he's big, no, he doesn't all. want to know. Not at all. You and Kareem have good discussions and you just get right in it, and I, I, I appreciate that. So, But do no, I find him, I find him a very interesting guy because he's got such yeah, a course, big, yeah, open yeah, mind. He's good, 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 good um, points and um, a good head in the shoulder so a good that, head sh- and a good Scottish I, tongue in his head definitely, definitely. Do you remember that when people would say well look I'll tell you what I'll give you the directions but I don't know if you'll remember you got out to the first <laughs> roundabout you say listen <laughs> leave it I'll find my way I've got a good Scotch <laughs> tongue in my head I'll ask somebody know, and there was a guy if you go to Inverary or Inverera there's uh, there's the road splits and one goes on to Loch Gilpid and Ardrishig and Tarbot and down the Kintar Kinar- Peninsula, and the other one goes up to Oban. Yeah, and this yep. American pulled up to this old Highlander, and he says, uh-huh. um, "Say, Jimmy," he said, "Can you tell me the road to Oban?" He says, um, "To Oban." He says, um, how did you know my name was Jimmy? He said, uh, I just guessed. He said, well, you guessed the road to Oban then. <laughs> I guess. And the other lovely one was an American on the pier at Tobermory. And he was waiting, you see. And this chap came up and he says, can I help you, sir? He said, you've been sitting here a while. I said, yeah, I'm just waiting on the on the car ferry. He says, well, he says, there's no car ferry this morning now. He said, yeah, I'm booked at 10 o'clock. He said, 10 N.A. 10 N.A. Yeah, I'm booked 10 N.A. He says, 10 A.M.? No, 10 N.A. He said, look, I've got the ticket. And he hands on the ticket, and the ticket he was booked on the I owner. Right. The 10 N A I O N A. <laughs> and the car ferry was called the I owner. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm booked on the 10 N A. You're good in the accent, Scotty. And, a lo- and, a- and a- another lovely guy had said to the guy, he said, uh, he said, I'm waiting for the ferry. And he said to him, uh, there's, there's no ferry now, it's thirsty. And he says, he said, what's the day of the week got to do with a ferry? He said, <laughs> well, you see, on a Thursday, it's the Claymore and she goes for sheep. <laughs> oh, dear, the Americans, and you've got a lot of them. Imagine saying to an American from New York City, do you not know that the Claymore goes for sheep on a Thursday? <laughs> Oh, no, oh, no. oh, dear. They're beautiful, oh. beautiful people. I know. I love the American ones, the American ones. Oh, they're great. Um, the best one ever was a big American guy, all the cameras and binoculars and Thousand <laughs> Island shots and a big, big pair of shots from rent a tent you know, and he's standing there and he says to the guy, he says, it was one o'clock, coming up one o'clock at Edinburgh Castle. And he yeah. says, what's everybody okay. waiting for here? He said, oh, I think they're waiting uh, for the uh, sergeant of the guard to come out and fire the gun. What's oh. the gun for? And he says, well, what happens? Now, you'll know this, Steve, but when the one yeah. o'clock gun fires over in Carlton yeah. Hill, the ball drops so that the ships out on the fourth in the old days were able to yeah. set their chronometer. That's right. So yeah. they would look yeah. through the telescope, and as soon as that ball dropped, they would bring their ship's chronometer up to one o'clock. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, anyway, this guy says, so the guy made up a story for this poor soul. 
And he says, what's everybody doing? He says, well, the gun, he says, the gun fires right across to Carlton Hill and it cuts through a rope and the ball drops. He says, and he says, yeah. He said, yeah, absolutely. He says, so if you have a look, you get your binoculars and you watch. Anyway, out comes the sergeant of the, the gun. Fires the one o'clock gun, right? Fires the one o'clock gun, and uh, sure enough, the ball drops, and the, the guy's going, gee, that's some shooting. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I just love all that. And then up on okay. Edinburgh Castle, above the, the entrance to the drawbridge, yeah. it's got on it, um, Nemo me impun la Kesset, which is the old Scottish crown motto. Quad door meddle with me. Nobody right. nobody meddles with me with impunity. Right. You see? Right. And, uh, and that's it. Nemo me impun la kesset. And uh, the guy says, he says to the, the guy, he says, up there, what does that say? And he says, oh, well, you see, Scottish soldiers are very, very tall. He says, and that says, mind your heat when entering the drawbridge. <laughs> Oh, Brogan, you can just, you can just... Ah, oh, they're beautiful, today. beautiful you people because I think it's their kindness. <laughs> I, know, I know. Do you know what I mean? I think they're, I think they're, they're nice people. American they, love, did you see my love Scots? Don't well, of course they, they do, and, and, and the Scots love, love them. I mean, America, see, America's based on, they wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie to be their king. Exactly. No, I know. Nobody, yeah. no, only people like you and I know that. Everybody goes, ah, how are you go? I go, I know. I See, know. when I, I tell people like... something, I had a top journalist arguing with me. I said, uh, Scotland's monarchy goes back 2,347 years. Rubbish! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it does actually, but you trace it back, it wasn't quite Scotland. It's the old Celtic kings. And the first yeah. one we can come up with is Riari, royal. And then right. if you trace their ancestry back, you can go back 2,347 years. Right, see, I love all that, but I, I, I'm not too sure about what you're talking about there, but I, I see my street, I love it, I love No, but it's when people go, I want to get rid of that queen, that says this is a 21st no. century, you know. You say, no, what's no, the no, date no, no, no. got to do with it? No, I love everything to do with it. It's, it's part of it's part of it. It's, it's a Scottish setup, and, and it raises it. your profile. You know, people go, "Is oh, that God. your queen?" Wow! And you know, can you imagine it. just saying, the uh, money "You know, the money it comes in." the money's the huge. The money's huge. Yep. There was just exactly. before the year before lockdown, the royal family brought in two billion pounds. Her Majesty yeah. the Queen oh, paid right. 98 million quid in tax, bless her, straight to the Exchequer. Of course. And of she course. gives us 75% of her own income. Yeah, yeah. People see this and that, and the doc that, you know, born with a silver or a gold spoon. Or I gold spoon. I would them. not thank they you for hard, it, Dee. They work hard and they, they bring in the money. Um, so people just are delusional. They just don't have a clue. Could you imagine, Dee, if somebody says, Dee, you're the Queen tomorrow? And he said, oh, right, right, oh, I quite fancy like that. that, I quite fancy that, and say, okay, no. you'll have to get up about half four, by the way, because we're going to Manchester. <laughs> exactly. You say, oh, for goodness no. sake, when are we getting back? No. You'll be back before eight in the evening. <laughs> you'll have missed Emmerdale. I know, I know. <laughs> People talk about Buckingham Palace, or this big palace as well. It's freezing. I've never been in there before, I wouldn't thank you for absolutely it. absolutely freezing. Do you know, know what I mean? I mean, you can't be oh. getting into your own house and getting the heater on. Exactly. Get cooled in. Cooled in. <laughs> I love the way old folk go. Right, it's half past eight, Grandma. <laughs> yes, we'll get up and get settled and get curtains drawn. Oh, definitely. That's the life. They love that, don't they? I mean, it's very important. Have you ever had? Yes. Uh, have you ever had an older person tell you off for not opening the curtains properly? <laughs> Things like that. They go, what, what, uh, D, uh, uh, can you pull them properly? I mean, but wait, I'll, do, I'll get it myself. No, no, you're all right. You're all right, Granny. I'm sitting here, I'm as well doing it my blanket. I'd better, I'd better as well doing it myself and the mess you've made. Who's dropped all the crumbs here? What a mess!
Bless them, bless them. It's just to be the river And do you not remember when we were we? They had we kind of cloths that covered everything. And you know. of course, it was the way, um, do you know I've got some as well. Aye, they're like we knitted, no knitted. It's like um, oh, crocheted, crocheted. crocheted we, oh, there's a name for them. I can't remember, but I know what you're talking about. What is, you know, you know exactly what I'm. Saying. They're like sort of naturally made doilies. Doilies, that's the I, the doilies. Take a wee doily to put that there. Or they everywhere. I've got, I've got a big, like, a drawer full of doilies. And they've came from, like, just... Yes. You know, over they time, just, they know, just kind of gather. Oh, I know. They're you just wonderful. end up with doilies all the time. We're going to have to say goodnight to our beautiful TikTokers. I can't I believe it. <laughs>